you're watching this video, it's probably because you're one of 9,000 plus amazing subscribers to my channel that have made this channel what it is today. And I wanted to do this video to talk about a couple different things. One, thank you. I never imagined I'd be here with nearly 10,000 subscribers today. That's pretty amazing. So that's great. And you guys are awesome for that. Secondly, tell you a little bit about why we haven't been producing a lot of content. And then thirdly, kind of what the future is going to hold for this channel, what direction we're going to take it in. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is David Anderson, and I've been doing software development professionally for over 10 years. My very first job, as a matter of fact, was as a software developer. It's my passion. It's what I do. It engulfs a huge portion of my life. And one of the results of that effort I've put into it from an early age has been now today, I've been the director of software development for a company I work for for many years now, where I oversee and manage all of our software operations. I'm the decision maker. I plan our product releases. I do our UI design. I do a lot of programming and development and coding. I do the whole thing. I uh, manage two software teams. It's a pretty amazing experience. So I can't talk a lot about it because obviously this channel is not affiliated with that has nothing to do with it and we have to keep it that way. But that's been probably the primary reason why I haven't done a lot with this channel is I also work a lot of overtime hours for this same company. So I don't have a lot of free time. I've also gotten married. I've been through two houses. So life has been very busy and, but very fulfilling. And it's been an amazing journey. And today that brings me to where I wanna go from here. So I think the purpose of this channel at this point is in my career, I've hired and fired a lot of developers and worked with a lot of developers and QA testers and business people, the whole, whole thing. And what I found is that, to be blunt, not very many software developers out there are very good. They're few and far between. So I think the purpose of this channel at this point is I want to share everything I know about software development, You know, everything from small stuff to large enterprise scale challenges. And I wanna make you the best software developer you can possibly be. If that's your goal is to be a great developer and you want to strive to be one of the best in the industry, I believe I can help you get there. And I think that's the fundamental purpose of why I'm producing content. So as far as direction of the channel goes, we're going to continue doing WPF and MVVM tutorials. I think that's still a need. I also, it's an area that I'm really passionate about. And I think there's a lot of people that need to know how to build better software there. And frankly, we're also going to do MVVM for the web. So we're going to do, I've been working a lot with Progress, Telerix, Kendo UI with jQuery platform and MVVM there. And I can say MVVM has been a, an amazing toolkit, uh, an amazing architectural design pattern for uh, that toolkit rather as well. So we're going to do lots of different things, but we're going to primarily focus on MVVM still for the long haul, do a lot of WPF stuff. And I have something special for you guys too. We're going to take a, I've gutted a piece of software that I've used as a learning platform for many years that I've built myself from the ground up. We're going to use that in all the videos going forward. I'm going to show that to you. We're also going to change the format of the videos. So I'm going to show that to you as well. We're going to switch over here in a minute. And I'm going to show you kind of what the, the next set of videos is going to look like and how we're going to approach those with better audio and uh, just an overall better format, I think. So I think that's the future. Now, I'm going to commit to trying to do one video a month which is much better than me doing zero over the last few years. So, and those are gonna be, I think we're gonna do bite-sized videos, like how to's, like, you know, how to work with collections, how to work with collection view, how to work with dialogues, how to work with windows, how to work with multiple views, you know, that kind of stuff. And then on a separate track, I think what we're gonna do is more of an enterprise scale thing because I have two very popular segments of videos. One is like my how-to's with WPF and MVVM, and I've got some other stuff out there like WCF and things like that. And then on another segment, my enterprise MVVM series was very popular. And I'm sad to say I never even did that much with it. But I think what I want to do with that is basically show you how to build kind of enterprise scale software from the ground up. And eventually we'll see where that playlist leads us to, but I think we're gonna see this application that I'm talking about kind of evolve like I said, I've gutted it, so it's kind of like an empty shell right now. And I think through the course of producing tutorial content for you guys, we're going to build that application up into something very tangible, large scale. I'm going to show you how to solve big problems like security and performance at scale even. So we're going to do some cool stuff. 
So that's the future of the channel. Uh, let's switch over now and show you what I'm talking about. And guys, again, thank you uh, for supporting me and my efforts. It's been an amazing journey. Let's take a look. Okay, so in front of me, I have a project on Azure DevOps called Fault Track. And this is a software application that 10 years ago, I intended starting as a business. And its intent was to be an issue tracking system. Today, what I'm going to give back to you guys is we're going to actually gut this application back to basically an empty shell, and I'm going to open source this project. So this on DevOps is going to be accessible to you guys in all the tutorials going forward from here. And the thought process is that we're going to use this application to show real world scenarios to back the tutorial content that I'm trying to show you. So if we're going to build a dialogue service, we'll build it in the application. If we're going to show you how to work with collection views, I'm going to show you in the context of building something real. And the thought process is that on my channel, there's two kind of different tracks that we have. We have generalized WPF and VVM content. And with that, the how to build a dialogue service, how to work with item enumerable, how to work with collections, how to work with collection view, how to work with tabs and tab controls and that kind of content. And then on the other side, we have more of the enterprise MVVM series, which I never really did anything with. So I think what we're going to do there is more large scale enterprise type challenges like, okay, how are we going to build a full text term based search with EF core without actually enabling full text in the database within the confinements of domain driven design and a layered architecture using repositories. So I think the different tracks are going to serve kind of different audiences, but I think we're really going to see the application evolve on the enterprise series where we're actually going to see kind of, the, I think the application come to life. And then on the smaller side, I think the how to stuff, I think we're going to see more of the infrastructure pieces that we need to do larger things come to life. But I think between both, this is going to be a really great learning platform for everybody. Now this is going to have a read only educational type of license. I'm going to figure that part out, but you will be able to clone the repo. It's going to be a Git version controlled repository on Azure DevOps. And you'll be able to clone that, get the code, pull it down, set it up, run it, and follow along with the tutorials and so on and so forth. So let's jump over to the application. I've converted my old code base to a .NET Core code base. So all the libraries are either .NET Standard or .NET Core. Main WPF application is a .NET Core 3.1 WPF app. And I'll run this here in a second and show you what this is actually going to look like from here going forward. There's going to be a desktop client aspect and a server side aspect. So those are the different physical tiers. So on here, we're going to have basically main application window. We're going to have a menu system. We're going to have some kind of login view. So there's going to be a workspace that shows up and inside this workspace, you're going to have the ability to connect to a ASP.NET Core set of web APIs. And we're also going to have the actual user name and password login. On the server side, we're going to have the database. So you'll be able to use this database project to actually publish a DAC pack to produce the database that you'll need to run the application. We're going to have a data access layer, which is going to be EF Core. We're going to have a ASP.NET Core web API project, basically. This is going to be the basically the backend uh, infrastructure for this system. We're also going to have a shared model library that shares the data transfer objects between the client and the server where needed. This will all be unit tested. However, I'm going to not write unit tests in the tutorials themselves. I'm going to make sure that the unit tests are written and available in the code base. But when we produce the tutorial videos, I'm not actively going to write tests during that. So unless the video is specifically for the purpose of demonstrating something that we're solving with TDD, we're not going to actually do it live just to save on time. And so we don't take away from the core concepts of whatever it is we're trying to show. Then there's going to be some other shared libraries. So more on the enterprise side of things, we are going to use domain driven design as the methodology. So we're going to have a domain layer, we're going to have infrastructure layers, we're going to have application modules, which we're basically going to do through packages, essentially. And that's one other key concept I'll 
make notable that we are going to use the managed extensibility framework to make a modular WPF application similar to that of Visual Studio, where you can have packages that provide tool windows and things like that that plug into the shell. And each package is going to basically run possibly in a private app domain, things like that. So it should be pretty interesting. That will probably come much, much later. So let's actually run this application. What you're going to see is basically what the application is today and where we're going to go from and take it to in the future. So if we look at this, it's just an empty shell. But in this empty shell, we have a, our menu system set up. We've got a custom window Chrome. You can go check out my WPF video on how to build a custom window Chrome. That's out there. Uh, you can produce a window similar to this. But what I've done since that video is we've added the ability to actually have content in the caption area itself, which allows us to put this menu up in here. We've got the window title, and then we have some better caption buttons than what we produced in that video also, so they're easier to click on and that. So what you see is what the initial code base is going to look like, and every video tutorial we do from here is going to build into this application and this platform and be available on Azure DevOps for you guys. So this is what I'm going to give back to you guys, something more tangible than just a random how-to, and especially for you professional developers trying to do enterprise-scale development on large systems. Like for my day job, we work on a multi-million dollar product. It's got hundreds of thousands of lines of code, and that's the main application. Then we have other software or ancillary products desktop applications, services, and things like that, that share a lot of the code base and so on and so forth. And so those enterprise skill challenges are much greater. And we're going to show you some real world things with this. And I hope you guys like it. And if you're watching the video and you've watched this far, thank you. And hopefully you've enjoyed the new format. Uh, we are going to go back to a smaller font size also. I just want to throw that out there before we go. I have to have a workable workspace area and I'm hoping based on the analytics of my channel, that the majority of you are watching my content on a desktop PC on a fairly decent size uh, resolution and a decent size monitor. So I don't think the font size should be a problem, but I have to have enough space to work with. And so it's not frustrating to produce the content and that way the content comes out really good. So that's one trade-off we're gonna make with this new format, but I hope you guys like it. And again, thank you for watching and look forward that next tutorial that's gonna be on the way within the next 30 days. And guys, thank you for your support. Can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I'll see you next time.